Spiking 2 is alive once again. Welcome D-Lab here at Johnson Controls. I have a story for you about a Johnson Viking 2 transmitter. But first, it's going to hit the light. <laughs> All right, retake. Welcome to D-Lab Electronics at Johnson Controls. I have a story for you about a Johnson Viking 2 transmitter. But first, we need to fill the goblet with juggernaut right yeah okay so this is a tale of a radio rescue at D Lab Electronics I acquired this Viking 2 about two years ago my intentions were to add it to my line of hanger queens out in the garage so those are carcasses that I take parts from to fix worthy transmitters. Well, this one was out there for a while and I was out looking for some parts and I happened to look in on the chassis and I saw the red stamp indicating that this was a factory built unit. So I thought, I cannot part this one out. I'm gonna go ahead and repair it using the other parts machines. Unfortunately, this thing had a pretty rough life. The guy that had it before me decided to harvest parts out of it and he didn't really do it the right way. A lot of things were pried on, the front panel was damaged, there was holes drilled in the cabinet, she was a real mess. But the thing that was untouched was that chassis. So I knew this is what I'll start with and then I'll get a cabinet together and we'll turn it into a worthy Johnson transmitter again. And it is operating at this point, so what I wanted to show you is this transmitter operating as a chassis on the bench. This is not a safe way to test a transmitter because all the voltages and RF are exposed. You can see I have my plate meter laying on the table and I have a temporary mic jack hooked up. But the transmitter is operational and I want to demonstrate it before I put it back in the cabinet. Well, let's perform a chassis sweep of the Viking 2. Normally, you wouldn't be able to see them like this because they're in a cabinet, but this really gives you a great opportunity to give these things a cleaning and lube before you put them back on the air. The Viking 2 runs a pair of 6146 outputs. Modulators are 807s. And if you look over here, between the two 5R4 rectifiers, you'll see a stamp. That red stamp indicates that this was factory built by the EF Johnson Company. So this is a very worthy Viking 2 to restore. Well, here we go, tune-up of the Johnson Viking 2 open chassis style here at D-Lab. So I'm going to take you through the tune-up procedure, which is pretty straightforward. We're going to go to CW, and there's my oscillator, which is actually the input from VF122 VFO. Then we go to buffer, we're going to peak the oscillator control for maximum buffer current. Then we go to grid. We're going to peak that control. And this is my drive setting. So we'll go over there to the red line. Now, we'll go back to phone. We are in plate. You can see the power output. And I can dip a plate current. She's nice and smooth. I'm going to go to modulation now. My audio is at zero. There's my mod current. We'll bring up some audio. Test one, two, three. One, two, three, four. All kinds of modulation. Now for the fun of it, I have a receiver behind me. I'll crank that up and we'll listen to the audio. Now more than likely, because it is exposed like this, we're going to pick up some buzz and maybe a little bit of distortion that we normally wouldn't with it in the chassis. All right, let me turn up the receiver. 
All right, so here we go. I have a National 183D behind me on the same frequency as the Viking 2. So we're going to listen to the audio coming off the transmitter. Remember, there could be some buzz and distortion because we have a lot of RF flying around the room right now. Hello. Hello, one, two, three, four. Hello. Okay. Now I can vary my frequency. And you can see we can go over the map. But the transmitter is operating. Good plate modulated RF. Next step, get it in the cabinet. All right, so you can hear I got an AMR on my National right now. This is N3 TBW. He's one of the big guns on the air. I can actually zero on his signal with the Viking. Pretty cool, huh? Who else we got? Here, other than yeah, it's wicked cold out. It's been cold up here in Michigan. All right, WZAJ, Kevin, and N3 TBW, Brian. Well, hey guys, um, I just finished doing the demo on my little Viking 2 project. And I was listening to my audio on this receiver, and I heard you guys. So guess what? I'm rolling video here at D-Lab, and you two are going to be on it. <laughs> so we got two stations on, people. We got N3TBW, Brian, and he's running. Are you on the 500, Brian? I think he said he's on the Johnson 500, so that's very cool. And then Kevin, uh, WZ8J, I didn't catch what you were running. But I'm running my Viking 2 and the National 183D receiver, and we're going to put this QSO on YouTube. Over to you, Brian. Yeah, okay, Terry, N6TLU in the crew, N3TBW. No, I'm on a T368 still. Ah. No, I was just telling uh, Kevin about uh, picking up the, uh, the Johnson 500 and getting it up and running and getting it on the air and all that and hmm. yeah the uh the gold king and all that kind of stuff so this is N3 TBW Brian and Delmore PA so, yeah <laughs> there's a lot of cases but you do run in people from time to time up there and for the record if you're still recording uh the TPH here is Brunswick Ohio 20 miles south of the frozen city of Cleveland okay where you could have gone to see the Browns lose today for only three dollars. You could have got uh, just about any seat in the house. <laughs> if you didn't mind sitting out in zero degree weather with 35 mile an hour wind. Hmm. Uh, so uh, cheap uh, cheap entertainment. Signal really came so up. So let's get the uh, breaker in uh, and then send it to Terry, N6TLU. This is Kevin, Whiskey Zulu 8 Juliet. Uh, go ahead, K7RCN and the group, WZHA. You know, she wants me off the radio, guys. All right, everybody, Merry Christmas from uh, Terry here, D-Lab, and I will have this video on tonight. Kevin, is really good meeting you, man. Brian bailed on me. And uh, Mike, if you can still hear me, good to meet you, man. I'll catch you guys out here in 40 meters again. And 6TLU, clear. Clear.